All right, hello everybody. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, my, my new design, Battles for Prodyne. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it's Heroic Combat in Dark Age Britain, uh, 450 to 650 AD, very specific time period. Um, one of the reasons that I chose that is because um, I wanted to focus on you know, what I call heroic combat, which is uh, a very small battles where they were characterized by um, you know, really heroes and going out and doing what they were supposed to do. By the end of this period, you see the battles are getting bigger and uh, so you're just so that it's not as intimate anymore and so you're losing some of that quote, heroic feel. Um, that does a couple things for us. It allows us to have uh, relatively small um, battles, relatively small scenarios that allow it to be played out pretty quickly. Um, and, uh, uh, and it allowed me actually, you can see on the map here, let's talk about the map, to get a, a lot of different terrain types onto one map, and, and in most of the scenarios, only a portion of the map will be used, and that's explained in the rules. So you've got a hill fort here and a hill, and then you've got the ford right here, and, and most of the, a lot of the battles, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of the battles in this period were fought either at hills or hill forts or at fords, and then some were fought in the open area, which would be used right there. Um, the game itself comes with the rule book and scenario book with historical notes and design notes in them right there. See some counter examples here. We'll look at those closer uh, later. Um, we have a sequence of play play aid. You can see it's two pages. It's pretty. It seems complex, but it's actually simpler than it looks. I put in a lot of notes and a lot of specific things here as reminders to help people get through. It's supposed to help things, not make it more complex. And then we have here we have panic points um, and a unit capabilities chart. All this information is actually duplicated on the counters, but this is supposed to be a quick reference for people that uh, may not want to dig through stacks and whatnot. And it's all the units are the same. Um, we also have a combat results table for field combat, which is sort of like face-to-face -face combat. And then javelin combat, which is where your cavalry is throwing javelins at people. So sorry, Eurogamers, but we actually do use a uh, combat results table on this one, so you roll dice and see what happens. Um, and then uh, this is the record track. It has a turn record track, which doesn't do much. Holding boxes uh, to allow you to reduce congestion with some of the larger stacks on the board. Cavalry pursuit box, which we can talk about later. And then panic points. And this is one of the key elements of the design where different actions, which are, lim which are listed here, can either increase or decrease the amount of panic points your army is suffering from. And if you get to a certain threshold, then you break and leave the field. And that's how it's... Uh, 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 characterized. The panic points are usually given for initiating heroic combat, which is where you enter the hex of the player of the of the opposing side and battle them, you know, face to face, man to man. And uh, if you run away from heroic combat or when you're killed, that actually increases your panic value, and you can reduce it by initiating combat. So it gives it sort of uh, encourages people to be aggressive and to attack. Um, and sometimes that might not even seem. Uh, tactically feasible. One of the elements of combat in this era was that these guys were out looking for renown and they wanted to be heroes. And uh, so they sometimes did things that may not seem, uh, you know, like the smartest thing to us from a tactical standpoint. And some of these things, things might be considered downright dumb, but they actually um, were uh, heroic and they wanted to be remembered in poetry for killing a lot of people. And as a result, they got killed a lot, but uh, usually they were able to make a name for themselves in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, in the course of being remembered. And so this system, it's a little bit hard to get gamers to do things that may not seem tactically sound. So I tried to come up with a system that would encourage what I call heroic play. Uh, again, sometimes it's not the most tactical play, but it's the most heroic play and again, appropriate for the era.